Ja, und somit herzlich willkommen zurück bei den Invincible. Wir gehen in den mysteriösen Tunnel. I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. Ich hab ein bisschen Angst. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio is breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. Ich habe ein bisschen Angst, wenn ich ehrlich bin. It's in Arctan. Coming at me. Ha. Huh. Carrying something. I got out. Out. Inside the cave. Jasper, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah. Uh. I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. All right, then. Can you tell me what's in there? Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? boxes. It took one, but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. This shit me einfach bloß weg. This place is full of metal bushes. Same as the ones before. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. Maybe. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. Was du mit dem Standort? So. Ich suche den Standort. Arc 03 ist das. Da muss ich weitergehen. Ich weiß es nicht. Ich versuche es doch noch irgendwie. Vielleicht kann ich mich ihm in den Weg stellen und die Kiste einfach wegschnappen. Sieht nicht so aus. Okay. Dann, äh das ist der Androbot. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Little bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So all the bushes in this area and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. 
but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Noch eine Person. Can you please check them, Yasta? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. Right. Das ist mehr. Batke. Ich glaube, wir finden niemanden mehr, der überlebt hat. Rest in peace, Junge. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm, interesting. Sounds similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Or perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... Grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive. That's an interesting theory. We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, ma'am. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. Ah, <sighs> oh, Shit! I can't handle it anymore. <sighs> Morgen im Akta. The robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. No, you must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Huh, I found the robot. It hasn't yeah. gone far. Good. Please follow it. Safe enough. 
And the antimap? He decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed... This could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Marit? She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. Komisch, dass das Ding nicht auf uns gefeuert hat. Okay, das sind neue Bilder. Es hat den Roboter abgeschossen. Und Jasmin hat sich hingekniet. Aber wieso? For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti-map told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Huh. It's cooled down. Junge, Junge. Nur noch die Füße stehen. Neuer Durchgang. Actually, it's right in front of me. Und die Radioaktivität ist immer noch vorhanden. Sokolin. Hmm. Ja, habe ich ja schon gesehen. Laut dem Trigger sind noch zwei Leute hier. Nicht gut. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Ah, th there's more. Base. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! 
Hmm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> but why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects. Months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally. But the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't... they won't remember everything. Even language. Their past, our voyages together. Let's face it. This new life of theirs will be far from normal. There'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'll be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Finde die Behälter mit den Fliegen. Das nimmt alles sehr komische Wendung. Wir haben hier übrigens äh, einen gefunden. Kann ich gerade nicht schauen. Vorhin hat man hier auf dem Radar mega viele rote Punkte gesehen. Ich glaube, das waren diese Fliegen. Lassen Sauten an, das wäre das. Offensichtlich äh, gibt es hier nichts mehr. Und Leute sterben. Also auch ohne irgendwie angegriffen zu werden. Das ist Dobrov, der hier drin ist. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Hmm. Aber warum wachsen diese Pflanzen dann draus? Beide Türen gehen nicht auf. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Ach du Scheiße. Too 
awkward to squeeze in. But the whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now! Ein weiterer Roboter. I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. Aus den Fliegen werden vielleicht Büsche. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession. Do I correctly conclude that you're confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necroevolution. <laughs> I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. And I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. But the theory seems not so absurd to be, as it sounds. A new magnet field. The second transporter is under a force field. Hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. And vielleicht auch Leute darin sein. Und übrigens, äh, da hinten haben wir Osterhaus gefunden. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Anergobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you are looking at the top of the Anergobot. Well, look carefully. Anergobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Energobots. Hatten wir damit schon was zu tun? Ich kann mich gerade nicht erinnern. Hm, wir nehmen einen Weg unter dem Kraftfeld hindurch. Sie wissen ja, dort hinten geht ein Weg lang. Und da müssen wir wahrscheinlich auch hin. Ich wollte noch kurz hier reinschauen. Irgendwas sieht. Aber es ist nichts von Bedeutung. Und haben wir den anderen hier schon identifiziert? Ja. 
Nee, haben wir nicht. Warte. Wenn es denn überhaupt noch möglich ist. Doch, haben wir. Alright. Dann würde ich sagen... Ja. Was das wieder von dieser Folge von The Invincible. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Und ähm, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Tschüss.